Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gizmo Joe. Today we're going to be taking a look at a MacBook from 2011. This is the model A1278 and as you can see it is one of the aluminum unibody MacBooks. Uh, these were super popular. This design uh, pretty much was the sort of bedrock of the Apple design aesthetic for a number of years. And uh, this one here is just running a bit slow. So this is actually a friend of mine's uh, laptop and they knew that uh, I knew my way around a computer and asked me if I could try to salvage this guy. So like I said, this thing is probably about nine, almost 10 years old now. And it's, running sluggishly. Um, she was unable to up, update the OS. Uh, she was having security patch issues, running into problems like not being able to upgrade her browser and all that sort of stuff. And that's a common problem with Apple products. They just sort of drop support after a while. And I mean, personally, I don't really like that because it sort of forces you into buying a whole nother laptop when to be honest with you, this guy probably is just fine. Uh, so what we're gonna do is obviously we're gonna flip it over and you'll notice that there's a whole series of screws here. So this, uh, we're actually quite fortunate that it is a little bit older because uh, if you have a newer MacBook, you know that all of these, they, I mean, when they call it unibody, they mean unibody. You can't even get into this thing unless you bring it to an Apple store, which is, uh, you know, obviously we don't really like it, you know, you could always go to iFixit or something like that, but those tutorials tend to be pretty uh, demanding. But uh, luckily with this particular model, all we need to do is go around here, remove all these screws. We'll be able to peel this back panel off. We'll be able to take a look inside. We'll be able to upgrade the RAM, upgrade the hard drive, whatever we need to do. So let's unscrew this, peel this back panel off and see what we're working with. Okay guys, so as you can see, we have the back panel taken off of this Model A1278 MacBook. You can see that the hard drive is just right here and we have the RAM here. Now the RAM, those uh, basically there's two modules here. There's one on the top and then there's one on the bottom and there's these little clips here. You just pry those and basically this guy sort of ejects itself out and you just slot them right out. So these are really, really easy to replace. Now, from what I could tell, these guys are uh, two gigabytes sticks so that's a total of four gigabytes total and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap that out with two four gigabyte sticks to upgrade the RAM of this particular machine to eight gigabytes total and like I said uh, these guys you can get modules for this particular computer I believe that's DDR3 RAM pretty cheap uh, nowadays so this is a really really easy upgrade to do obviously uh, you can never hurt to pop more RAM into a machine. It's going to just help uh, it with all of its processes and whatnot. Now, uh, with this hard drive, obviously, you can tell that it's a mechanical hard drive. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take that out and we are going to swap it with a solid state drive. So uh, let's punch in a little bit closer on this hard drive. I'll show you guys how to take it out. Okay, so here's a bit of a closer look on the hard drive bracket. It looks a bit strange because here's the battery. Now, obviously, the, you don't want to take the whole battery out in order to remove this particular hard drive. So what you're going to want to do is there's uh, two screws, one right here and one right there. You're going to loosen those up. I've already done that. So you loosen them up and you pull them out. There are these little guys. Whoops. Uh, they're about that big. Obviously, put your screws somewhere so that you don't lose them and uh, we'll just yank those guys out. Now, there's this bit back here, which is here's your CD DVD drive just here, and basically there's this little plastic bracket thing. If you unscrew these, and like I said, I've already done that, you can peel this whole sort of uh, bracket up, just like so, okay? And then basically this hard drive just sort of comes right out, and it's attached to a ribbon cable, and you just pull that out and there's your SATA connector and you just take your hard drive and you chuck it off to the side. So now this is ready to go. We can pop our solid state drive in there. We'll upgrade the RAM and then hopefully we'll turn this guy on and we'll install Mac OS. So stay tuned. 
Okay, everybody, before we pop the back panel on, I just wanted to give you a quick look as to what this MacBook looks like uh, with all the new parts in. So like I said, we've reseated the RAM, so that's 8 gigabytes of RAM, and we've got a 240 gigabyte SanDisk solid state drive in here. Now, uh, what we're going to do is, um, before I pop this solid state drive in, uh, I forgot to mention that I actually cloned the original hard drive that was in here. So basically, my friend wanted to have all of her stuff, all of her documents, all of her programs and stuff on the new solid state drive. So I used a carbon copy cloner just to essentially clone her old MacBook's mechanical hard drive onto this solid state drive. So now that everything's reinstalled, we can pop this back panel on. Hopefully when we uh, fire it up, it's going to be uh, just the same as what she's used to and just perform a little bit faster. So let's take a look. Okay, so as you can see, um, everything booted up just fine. We're having no issues. All of her documents are still here. All of her programs uh, are still installed. Everything is uh, working perfectly. Um, now, like I said, I'm not really sure how slow this guy was uh, originally. Um, I did fire it up, obviously, to clone the hard drive. I noticed that it took a little while to start up. Uh, not unusual for a mechanical drive. But things are definitely speedier now with that solid state drive. Um, obviously, you can see someone is a fan of the Mandalorian and particularly Baby Yoda. But um, we're running Mac OS High Sierra. So this is version 10.13.6. Now, I believe this is going to be the highest version of Mac OS that you're going to be able to run on this particular machine. Like I said, this is a uh, you know mid to late 2011 um, MacBook. But uh, what we're looking at is, uh, you know, eight gigabytes of RAM. And that's right, it was DDR3 at 1333 megahertz. And we've got that 240 gigabyte solid state drive in there. So things should be, um, you know, definitely better than they were. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is to upgrade these particular machines. So if you have an old MacBook Pro laying around, or if you can get one for real cheap, uh, you can definitely chuck in some pretty cheap upgrades in order to make it a pretty formidable everyday sort of machine. Uh, so, you know, I hate to see technology like this being thrown out. Obviously, electronic waste is a big problem in the world. And so, you know, to see a 10-year-old machine running um, fairly well, uh, and for what most people are going to use it for, uh, it will be just fine. I would much rather see somebody recycle it or whatever rather than just throw it away and spend you know, thousands of dollars on a brand new machine. But anyway, hopefully you guys uh, you know, learned a little bit of something. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, etc. And uh, I'll be back next week with another video. This is Gizmo Joe signing off.